Hello guys, I'm Mr. Jonathan and basically in this video I'll show you guys how to use System Monitor in Linux Mint. Basically for System Monitor it's like Task Manager but for Linux Mint and for other Linux distribution. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically use it and how to understand what it's saying. Okay, so now search up for System Monitor and now just open it like that and now you guys will see a screen like this. So this is a processor, as you guys can tell, this is um, everything that's running in the background from the games to the desktop environment to the um, to the system processors that's running for background and so on. Um, so from here you guys will be able to click onto any software that you're using such as um, for example Blue Man Applet and so on so we can click onto one of these applications and if we want to do something like for example end a process then you guys will be able to end process by clicking over here by ending it so for example this all shows up for process um, that's running for background over here it shows up for user that's running under and this it shows up how much of a CPU it's using um, the ID number it shows up for memory and how much for read read speed is and for write speed is and how much of you know, that and disk read and disk write and proprietary means how much of resources it's using normal means it's um it's normal low means it's low and very high means it's using up a lot of um a lot of resources as you guys can see for very high it's you is um pipe wire and we also have pulse audio which allows us to have sound and so on so for example if you guys were to earn a process just click onto GNOME System Monitor and end the process. And now we'll click onto the end process. As you guys can see, System Monitor has exited. So I'm going to show you guys a game of Firefox. Just to show you guys that it's not... Um, just to show you guys properly how to actually do it. As you guys can see, this is Firefox. So for example, if I want to exit from Firefox, just click onto Firefox pin. And I'll click onto end process. And I'll click on the end process, and now Firefox is no longer opened. So that's how you guys be able to end processes and how this um, processes tab works and what is processes tab. So it's basically show guys um, what's running for background and gives you an option to end the process. Now resources shows up how much um, how much the system is using each of those resources. So it shows up for CPU. So um, if CPU. Um, it really depends on the CPU. If it's um, kind of really, really high, then it could be overheating. Um, but for high it is, for more resources, is running for background. But sometimes, um, yeah, it should be fine. If it goes up and down and up and down, then it's fine. But if it's very far up, um, like at 100% for a very long time, then that might be a problem. But if it's just staying around like 60s or 70s and it does go up to 100, but then it goes down, like that, that's not a problem. Like CPU just shows up um, how much of a CPU that the system is using. Memory is how much of the memory that the system is using. So, um, and a swap partition um, as well. So once you run out of memory, then the system is going to start using swap partition, which is basically a backup of memory. And this is the network, so it shows up how much of um, the network is being received and how much is being sending. So as you guys can see, this is shows up the networking issues, um, networking information, and over here shows up some memory information and swap, and over here shows up some CPU information. Now let's click on to file systems. So this is basically all of our partitions and all four hard drives will be stored over here. Okay, so this is a device. As you guys can see, def, this is a device, SDA free, so this is a partition, SDA free. SRC, I do believe that this is the disk or something, like media. Yep, it is indeed some media that I had to install into the device, so I can get Feebox, um, the Feebox um, drivers working, and also it has um, boot EFI, so this is basically for boot partition. This is the... Um, this is where for root partition is, including your personal files, and this is basically some um, some media file um, partition, some media um, thing that I had to add into the system. As you guys can see, because this is running in a photo box. 
So this is basically um, GNOME System Monitor, which is included in Linux Mint. It's a very simple software. We're going to be able to get used to it very quickly, and it's basically similar to how Task Manager works. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope that you guys found this video so useful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.